Prince Hubertus of Saxe, Coburg, and Gotha attends the 2024 Coburger Schützenfest in Coburg. King Charles III of the United Kingdom visits North Scotland. Queen Letizia of Spain cheers on Team Spain at the Olympics in Paris. And Queen Rania of Jordan presides over the inauguration of a new building at the King Hussein Cancer Center in Amman. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you all are doing well today. If you're new to my channel, my name is Alexandra, and welcome to your Royal Daily News for Thursday, August 1st, 2024. In Amman, Her Majesty Queen Rania of Jordan, accompanied by their Royal Highnesses, Prince Talal bin Mohammed, and Princess Gita al Talal of Jordan, presided over the inauguration of the new Radiation Oncology Building at the King Hussein Cancer Center on Wednesday. Princess Gita al Talal of Jordan is a chairperson of the King Hussein Cancer Foundation and Center. In a press release from the King Hussein Cancer Center, it noted, that the new building covers over 2,700 square meters and features state-of-the-art medical equipment. Quote, The new facility was established to meet the rising need and increase the Radiation Oncology Department's monthly capacity from 260 patients to approximately 400. An estimated 60% of the KHCC patients require radiotherapy as part of their treatment plan. Over the past 25 years, the King Hussein Cancer Center has become a cornerstone of cancer care in the region, serving more than 70,000 patients. End quote. On Wednesday in Tatuan, His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Moulay El Hassan of Morocco, His Royal Highness Prince Moulay Rashid of Morocco, and His Highness, Prince Moulay Ahmed of Morocco, presided over an allegiance ceremony at the Royal Palace of Tetuan. According to a press release from the Royal Court of Morocco, the ceremony, held on the occasion of the King's Silver Jubilee, is an, quote, opportunity for representatives of the Kingdom's 12 regions to reiterate their attachment to the sovereign and to emphasize that the bond between the throne and the people is deeply rooted in the country's history, and has always been the foundation of the country and the supreme expression of its solidarity and durability. End quote. Guests who attended the ceremony included advisors to His Majesty the King, the Prime Minister of Morocco, members of the government, senior military officers of the General Staff of the Royal Armed Forces, civilian and military personalities. Prior to the allegiance ceremony, the king, the crown prince, and the prince presided over a taking of the oath ceremony for new officers who graduated from paramilitary and military schools, including the Royal Military Academy, the Royal Air School, the Royal Naval School, and the Royal School of Military Health Science. The ceremony took place at the Royal Palace of Tetuan. Royals from around the world continued to support their home country teams today during the games of the 33rd Olympiad in Paris, France. This morning, Her Majesty Queen Letizia of Spain attended the women's 20km race walk on the Place du Trocadero to cheer on race walkers Ms. Laura Garcia Caro, Ms. Cristina Montesinos, and Ms. Maria Perez. Ms. Perez wearing bib 123, finished the race with a time of 1 hour, 26 minutes, and 19 seconds, thus securing the silver medal. While Ms. Garcia Garo, wearing bib 120, came in 7th place, followed by Ms. Montesinos, wearing bib 122, came in 10th place. At noon, the Queen attended the men's preliminary round group B water polo match number 14 between Spain and Serbia, at the Aquatic Center. So, who won the match? Spain, 15-11.
Thereafter, the Queen arrived at the Roland Garros Stadium to attend the men's singles quarterfinal match between Carlos Acarras and Tommy Paul. The exciting match ended with Mr. Acarras defeating Mr. Paul. On Wednesday, the Queen attended the women's preliminary round Group B water polo match between Spain and Greece. The game ended with Spain defeating Greece 10-8. Meanwhile, Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, as president of the British Olympic Association, visited the Olympic Village. Also on Wednesday, Her Majesty, Queen Mary of Denmark, attended Day 2 of the Dressage Grand Prix team and individual qualifier at Versailles. On Tuesday afternoon, the Queen attended the women's handball preliminary round group A match between Denmark and Sweden. The exciting and close match ended with Denmark defeating Sweden 25-23. Meanwhile, His Serene Highness, Prince Albert II of Monaco, accompanied by his first cousin, Mr. John B. Kelly III, also known as J.B., amongst his family, and the Secretary General of the Monégasque Olympic Committee, Miss Yvette Lambon-Berti, attended the Women's Artistic Gymnastics Team Finals at the Bercy Arena. Their Royal Highnesses, Grand Duke Henri and Grand Duchess Maria Therese of Luxembourg, attended the Women's Table Tennis Singles Round 32 match between Ms. Ni Shi Lian, representing the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg, and Ms. Sung Ying Sha, representing the People's Republic of China, at the South Paris Arena. The match ended with Ms. Ying Sha defeating Ms. Lian 4-0. After the match, the Grand Duke issued a statement regarding Ms. Lian's performance. Quote, It was an extraordinary performance that Ni Shi Lian put on here in Paris, where it took the world number one who could almost be her granddaughter, to stop her. Her entire career is a model of professionalism and passion, an example for all sportsmen and women. Ni Shi Lian, who celebrated her 61st birthday on July 4th, is the oldest table tennis player to have won a match at the Olympic Games. End quote. Bravo. Well done. On Wednesday, in North Scotland, His Majesty, King Charles III of the United Kingdom, as patron of the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds, visited the Four Synod Flows Visitor Centre and Nature Reserve. According to Buckingham Palace, the Nature Reserve was, quote, listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the world's first peatland World Heritage Site, end quote. According to the official website for the RSPB, the nature reserve consists of 21,000 hectares of, quote, rolling expanse of blanket bog, sheltered straths, a name for broad river valley and mountains. The wild and rugged landscape is part of the flow country, one of Scotland's national treasures. For over 20 years, the RSPB has cared for the reserve. This is a place of rare habitats developed over thousands of years. The deep layers of peat that lie beneath the surface of the blanket bog are a hugely important carbon store. Peat bogs are a crucial defense against climate change, locking away carbon so that it's not released as carbon dioxide. They cover just 3% of the world, but hold nearly 30% of all the Earth's carbon. End quote. During the visit, the king signed the Book of Honor, as well as unveiled a commemorative plaque. In Athens, Her Majesty, Queen Anne Marie of the Hellenes, the Royal Highnesses, Crown Prince Pavlos, and Crown Princess Marie Chantal of Greece, Her Royal Highness, Princess Alexia of Greece, His Royal Highness, 
Prince Nicholas of Greece, His Royal Highness Prince Philippus of Greece, Her Royal Highness Princess Theodora of Greece, Her Majesty Emerita Queen Sophia of Spain, Her Royal Highness Princess Irene of Greece, Marina Carella, Princess Alexandra of Greece, and Princess Olga, Duchess of Aosta, attended the funeral of the late Prince Michael of Greece at the Orthodox Church of St. Theodore's, situated in the First Cemetery of Athens. Following the funeral service, the late prince was buried at the Totoi Cemetery. The late Prince Michael of Greece, who was a royal historian and author, passed away on Sunday, July 28, 2024, at the age of 85. My condolences to the family. May he rest in peace. In Coburg, His Highness, Prince Andreas of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha, and His Highness, Prince Hubertus of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha, attended the Coburger Schützenfest and Award Ceremony held at the Congress House, Wilson Gotten. During the ceremony, Prince Hubertus presented awards to, quote, two deserving members of the Coburg Rifle Association this year, Master Shooters Christian Ehrlich and Christina Zeitner, end quote. In Bangkok, Their Majesties King Ramla X and Queen Sothita of Thailand and Her Royal Highness Princess Avir Vanavari of Thailand held an audience at the Grand Palace with members of the diplomatic corps accredited to the Kingdom of Thailand. And finally, in Tirana, His Royal Highness Prince Leica of Albania attended a celebratory reception at the Municipal Hall on the occasion of, quote, Hungary's presidency of the European Union on July 1st, 2024, end quote. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. I will be back tomorrow on Friday, August 2nd, with all the latest world news and events. Until then, I sincerely wish each and every one of you and your family and your friends a wonderful afternoon. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if you'd like and click on the notification bell so you won't miss a new episode. Have a wonderful afternoon, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.